All right, people, welcome back to Card Review. It has been a while. Oh my God, it's been forever. It seems like it's been forever since I looked at a card. And we've got a ton of cards to look at. So many cards are new that came out, and it's just like, wow. So I gotta sit down and talk about all of them. I mean, it's, it's so many cards that I'm probably even gonna have to, you know, even discuss cards you know, on live videos just to get it all done. And uh, maybe even just take all things, you know, usually uh, when it came to New Burning Abyss cards, I would sit down and look at each individual card and talk about it. I might just do a live video, sit down with Rainy and just discuss all the New Burning Abyss cards in one sitting. Just to get, because uh, I need to catch up. I need to catch up. These two weeks that I've been gone, so many new cards, so many things have happened in the just news of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I got to catch up. So, uh, I decided, I'm, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start off by talking about this card. Because I kind of talked about this card, saying that it was bad, but it's not. It's just not good right now. So I'm going to go ahead and discuss it, the reason why it's not good right now. And, uh, yeah, I'll just get my opinion on it. So this, of course, is the new uh, Mirror Force Plus Compulse, the Storming Mirror Force, or Air Force, or Compulse Force, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, pretty much, it's a really simple card. When your opponent monster declares an attack, return all attack positions monster your opponent controls to the hand. That's pretty simple. So you literally just take the aspect of Mirror Force, but instead of destroying the monsters, you just return them to the hand. So, is this card good? It's okay. I mean, it's a fine card. But, is it good right now? No. No. This card's actually really bad right now. And the reason why this card isn't good is because this card's only good when Compulse is good. When Compulse is good, this card's actually pretty good. You know? If Compulse isn't good, this card's not good. And that's how, that's how you should take this card. With that exact thought process in mind. If Compulse is good, this card's good. If it's not, then this card's not. Think about this format right now. Is Compulse... It's at one, but out of all the trap lineups with Solemn Warning and Bottomless and Torrental and Ring of Destruction and all those cards, is Cabal's being played? No, it's not. It's not. You know, if you're thinking about it, maybe. No, it's not. And the reason why is because look at the top decks. Look at them. If you look at the top decks, you can clearly see the reason why Cabal's isn't being played. The number one deck right now, of course, Necros. Tell me, even when you're getting the gin locked, do you really want to compulse back one of the ritual monsters back to the hand just so they can ritual summon it again? Yeah, I thought so. So that that's that's one of the main reasons, you know. Um, and Teller Knights, eh, it's okay. I mean, uh, compulse is a little bit better because you can go ahead and compulse, uh, you know, chain the compulse to the triv or you know, on this or after Deltaros has been summoned. But uh, even you know that Deltaros, you know already hit the field. So you summon Deltharos, you can't respond. You can't respond. You can't activate that compulse. Deltharos effect is going to... I'm going to use Deltharos effect to pop one of your cards. Hopefully I targeted your compulse so you can go ahead and chain, but if you didn't, my effect still resolved. I don't need to be on the field to resolve. So you're going to go ahead and use your compulse. Compulse back my Deltharos. Yeah, it sucks, but I also get to pop your card. So I go ahead, XC into Triv. You know, you do, you have a response. You want to use that compulse? All right, you want to compulse me? Your, all your cards are still going back, you know. Trip still resolves, and it's not like your compulse is going to return back to hand. You know, it it resolves, it's done, so it's going to go to the grave despite Trip returning everything back to the hand. So, yeah, you know, uh, you could compulse, uh, uh, I guess, a, a Dante, but you know, Burning Abyss haven't even been up there that you know that much. Uh, what else decks have been doing? Like Senju, I mean, really, really, you're going to compulse that, you know. That's, that's just an egg, <laughs> you know, unless you're trying to protect your life points, that's, that's, that's bad. So, as you can clearly see, Compulse, it's just not that card. It's just really not. It's really not that card. You want, you want to Compulse to cleave? All right, that's fine. I can Pendulum Summon it. I can resummon it anyway, you know, and you can't, comp and that deck is pretty much Summon Killer that deck. So, you know, you can't Compulse me, my Killer anyway. So, there you go. I mean, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at the top decks and you just, you can clearly see, you know. Ritual Beast can hop out of the way of Compulse. So, if Compulse isn't good, how is this card, Storming Mirror Force, how is this card going to be good when it's much, much slower? You got to wait all the way until the battle phase. I mean, you get fast right now. A lot of shit happens during the main phase, you know? A lot of shit happens during the main phase. All right, let's say, not happy to you speaking anymore. It's not Compulse. Let's talk about you having Storming Mirror Force. All right, uh, I'm using Necros. You really want to go ahead and return my Necros back to my hand? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't see, even with the Jijin lock, I still, I don't think so. The good thing is that it doesn't destroy, nor does it target. So, you know, that that's a good way to get out of your Jijin lock. But I just don't want to return your Necros to your hand. It's slow, 
but you know, I'd rather go ahead and mirror force. I'd rather go ahead and get that Necros monster off the field. I want you to run out of resources. That's how you beat Necros. You make them run through their plays. You know, that that's the gist of it. Run through their plays. Make sure they don't vanish with their mirrors. That's how you beat Necros. Because uh, you know, they're still a ritual deck. They're still you know, uh, you know, tributing, paying costs, uh, essentially negging. So if you can eventually whittle down the resources, you'll win. This card, I mean, like I said, you just return the monster him. Uh, let's go. Once again, Teller Knights. Teller Knights, go ahead. Summon uh, Vega. Starring, all you guys start Manifor, so I don't have to worry about that. Altair, Altair, some did search. XC, let's go ahead. Go into Trip. Put it back. I'm not getting Storm Manifor. I'm attacking you for 21. Go into Deltaros. Deltaros, detach, paw. See? It's just slow. It's just slow. It's, it's Mirror Force, and Mirror Force is good right now. But... Like I said, if if it was hanged in a balance, what's what's good right now? Destruction or bouncing? Destruction or bouncing? And sometimes it goes back and forth. Sometimes you know, all of a sudden destruction's bad, but then destruction. Like I said, if this was a couple formats ago, maybe when like Shadows was the best, then oh yeah, I could see this card being really good. I could see this card being great. You know, you go ahead and make a Shadow uh, fusion monster. You attack, bam, get the storing mirror force. Go back to extra deck, no Shadow fusion, bam. But when Shadows aren't the top deck, and, you know, it just, it depends on the format. So, am I saying Storm and Mirror Force is bad? No. But is it good right now? No. You know, it depends on the format. You know, if we got into a heavy fusion, XC, uh, synchro format, then, oh, yeah, Storm and Mirror Force would be great. Go ahead. Uh, they attack, go ahead. Return their extra deck monsters. Return their, uh, their, uh, their synchros, their fusions, you know? Like I said, if Necros completely died out, completely, I mean, like, completely died out, like, they got hit so hard that Necros weren't even, they couldn't even be relevant anymore. And Shadal stepped up, and it was Shadal, Burning Abyss, and Teller Knights again? Mm, yeah, maybe I could see this, you know? You go ahead and attack with, attack with that Dante? No. Storming Mirror Force. You attack with that Teller Knight? No. Storming Mirror Force, I said. That's a little, that's a little, that one's a little bit iffy, as I just stated. Um, you know, you go ahead and attack with your one of your Shadal Fusions, you know, your, uh, you know, your, your Construct, your, your Window? No. No? Oh, I can't I can't mirror force the window, but I can sure storm mirror force it. So like I said, it depends on the format. And just think of it as a a more widespread non-targeting compulse. So like I said, if compulse is good, then this card is good in comparison. You know, is it still like oh yeah, you know, because it's still kind of slow. But uh this cards go hand in hand. Obviously, returning monsters to your opponent's hand. The first card you think of when I say, hey, think of a card that returns a, a monster back to your opponent's hand. What's the first card you think of? Compulse. Compulse is a very powerful card. Is that one? Even though CG, they still play that triple. It's a very powerful card. And I, even when it's not good, I mean, I'm very, very conservative. So I'd still say, no, keep it at one. Because, like I said, you don't know. You don't know. The formats always flip flop. You know? A couple formats ago, Destruction was bad. Now, destruction's good, so, you know, it's just, just how the top decks are. It really is just how the top decks are. So, there we go. I reviewed Stormy Mirror Force. I, I, I had to talk about this one because I believe, like, in, before I got my sick break, I was talking about this card, and I was talking about how crap this card is, and it's not crap. It's just not good right now, you know? I saw, there's actually an episode of uh, DN Dual Commentary, which didn't get to go up because it didn't record my audio, but uh, essentially the guy was running triple Storming Mirror Force going up against uh, Teller Knight, and like I said, well, maybe you can go ahead and grab, get that, de that Deltaros or get that Triv, and you know, they go the extra, they don't get the graveyard effect, but man, this man, this guy had, I think he had like two Altairs and a Deneb on the field, and he attacked and his opponent would use Storming Mirror Force, like, yay, awesome, thank you for my two Altairs and my Deneb back, like, why would you do that, you know, so... Uh, in that case, Mirror Force would have been much better, but, you know, this man, all I saw was the triple stolen Mirror Force, and he sure bounced the monsters, but he didn't want to, and eventually he just got out resource and lost, you know. If those stolen Mirror Force were just regular Mirror Force in the duel, he might have had a chance, you know, because he didn't, he wasn't really doing anything with the Maltires and Dineb's, but every time he activated that stolen Mirror Force, they go, oh, yeah, give him his Dineb and his Altires back, like, no. So, uh, like I said, it just depends on the format. The card's not bad, it's just not good right now. So tell me what you guys think about Storming Mirror Force. I hope that I cleared up any misunderstandings, and I hope that this made, video made a lot of sense. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So of course, I will be back Thursday talking about another card. I said there's so many cards I gotta talk about. It won't be Burning Abyss, like I said, I'll do that, the Burning Abyss, in a, new, in a separate video. But it's just there's so many new cards that have been over these past two weeks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. 
All right, people, thanks for watching.